In today's video, I'll be showing us how you can build yourself this brand new truly infinite XP farm for the brand new 1.21.20 edition of Minecraft Bedrock. This XP farm is just as good as the other Java XP farms, but this farm works on all Minecraft Bedrock platforms including MCPE, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Windows 10 edition. And this farm will not be using any Elaze or Iron Golem, and you can easily get more than 30 levels with just one potion of infestation. And before we get into the video, as you guys can see on screen right now, only about 1.2% of you watching are actually subscribed. If you guys found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing. Ezreal does mean a lot, and without wasting any more time, here's everything you need to build this farm. And guys, as per the light grey concrete, feel free to use any solid blocks of your choice except cobblestone blocks as they can be affected by the potions. And if you guys want to use the manual version of this farm, all you need is the items on the left. But if you're okay with a little bit of redstone and want this farm to be fully automatic, make sure to grab the trident, pistons, and observers. Yeah, grab all the items. And once you guys have all the items, make your way to where you want to build this farm. Then, to first start off with the manual version, grab your glass block and place three of them in a row like this, two more, and finally one more block right here. Then you can place your like so. Next, place 8 blocks on the next layer all the way around. Then in this direction, go ahead and extend the platform by 4 more blocks. And repeat that on the other direction as well. And once you're done, you should end up with a 7x7 seven seven square. Now you can grab your solid blocks and make a ring all the way around. Then make it 2 blocks tall. And once you're done with that, grab your water bucket and make your way to the opposite corner from the hole and place the water bucket down. And if you did it correctly, the water should flow perfectly like this. Now with our solid blocks, place 5 of them right here, making this section 2 blocks thick. Repeat that on all 4 sides. And once you're done placing all 20 solid blocks, you should have a platform like this. Now with our glass blocks, make your way inside and place a glass block, a temporary block, a glass block on top of that, and repeat that until you reach the edge until it looks like this, then get rid of our temporary blocks. Now go ahead and do the same thing on all four of these sides. And once you're done placing all the glass blocks, grab your solid block, and wherever there's no glass block in the bottom, place a solid block back there. Just like this. And each one of these five blocks is where our snow golems will end up. So to complete this area, let's make the walls going all the way around. Do that, go to one of these corner blocks and place three blocks up like so. Then go out by two, make it the same height. Now you're going to want to repeat this until you reach the other end. And once you reach the other corner, place three more blocks and match them up. Now you're going to want to do the same thing for the other three sides as well. So go out by two blocks, make it the same height and reach all the way end to the next corner and make the corner three blocks tall and connect it up. And once you're doing the last side, just connect it up to the wall that we first built. Now that we have the wall surrounding our farms, we can put in the snow golems. To do that, grab your snow block, place two of them right here. Before we place the pumpkin, you're going to want to first place some temporary blocks around here so that our snow golem doesn't escape. Then place the pumpkin, and once you've done that, place in the roof, which can be a solid or glass block, then remove the two temporary blocks. And now you're going to want to do the same step three times. And once the three iron golems are securely in place, we can place two more in these two solid blocks. To do that, you can do the same steps. Place a temporary block, grab your snow blocks, place two of them, then our pumpkin, and now place a roof up here by placing a temporary block. Then you can remove the temporary block and move this block as well. Now do the same thing here. And once you're done with one side of the wall, you're just going to want to repeat that for the remaining three. And once you're done placing in all the snow golems, the farm should look like this. And now for the last steps, all you have to do is grab your glass blocks, make your way to the center of the farm and place two glass blocks and break the bottom one. Now on top of this block, place a temporary block, then your trap door on all four sides and close them up. A little like this. Then break this temporary block. And now we're going to want to bring a zombie into this little area. To do that, grab some temporary blocks and place them on top of the trap doors and make this channel a bit higher. Then bring up these three blocks by two more like this. Then connect this block to the outside this farm and just make a channel until you reach the outside. A little like this. Now make a staircase down until you reach the ground. And once you're done building, just grab a trap door, place it right here and fold it down. This will help us push the zombie down. Now wait until it's nighttime and find yourself a zombie and make sure it can either hold something or just give it a name tag. Then you're going to want to make it follow you up the stairs and once it comes inside, you're going to want to just punch it down the hole just like that. And once you have your zombie down the hole, break the trap door and replace it with a solid block. Then go ahead and remove all these extra blocks in place. And guys, remove all these extra blocks to make sure to not remove the blocks directly above the trap doors, as if you do that, as the snow golems will be able to directly see our zombie and start attacking. So for now, cover it up like this. Now you can grab your dispenser, now break these two blocks, grab your dispenser, and while looking down, you're going to want to place it facing downwards like so. Now you can remove all these extra blocks we've placed 
And as soon as these snow golems start seeing our zombie, they're gonna start attacking. But don't worry, since they only shoot snowballs, our zombie is totally safe and cannot get hurt. Now for the last step, all you have to do is place a button on top of the dispenser. And that's the manual version of the farm complete. So to use it later on, for the manual version, all you have to do is grab a sword and the silverfish will come down here and just attack them with our sword and they'll die and you can get all the XP. But now before we move on, I'll show you how you can do the fully automatic version. So to do this version, all you have to do is break this bottom layer of block. Then place a piston right here, skip two blocks and place another piston facing inwards, place one right there, and last one like so. And once you place down all four of our pistons, grab your observers, place one like this, then the other one facing into the other observer. Now just make them in a loop going all the way around. To do that, you might need to break a couple of these blocks and just place the observer facing inwards. Then break one of these blocks for now, grab your tridents, throw them in onto the faces of the piston, cover it up, then grab your lever and place it on the piston and turn it on. And if you did everything correctly, the piston should extend in a loop and the trident clearer is complete. Now later on, all you have to do is just AFK right here with the trident killer on and you can get all the XP. And now for the last optional stop, if you guys want to easily make your way up this farm, you can just grab some blocks, place them down here, then grab your ladders and place them all the way up. So you can easily make your way up here and press the button to turn on the farm. And that's the farm complete. But before we can use it, you'll need to make some potions of infestation. I'll show you how you can make those. And now to get this farm to work, you'll need to make some of these potions of infestation. And to make those, you will need some stone blocks, some gunpowder, some nether warts, some blaze rods, some empty water bottles, and a brewing stat. You're going to want to dig a 2x2 two two into the hole like this, and then place two water buckets on opposing corners like that to make an infinite water source. Now go ahead and place down your brewing stand and just get yourself some water bottles as well. Then open the brewing stand and place in your three water bottles. Then into that, you're going to want to first place in some blaze powder and some nether warts. And once that's done brewing, you should get some awkward potions. So the next step, you're going to want to place in some stone block. And once it's done brewing, you should get some normal potions of infestation. But to turn them into splash potions, all you have to do is just place in a gunpowder. And finally, once you're done, we have our splash potion of infestation. And now to use this farm, all you have to do is press this button. And as soon as that happens, the zombies will be affected by the potion of infestation. And as soon as they get hit, the fish will start spawning. And now, just make sure that the Trident Killer is on, so we can get all of the XP. And guys, if you're using a Trident Killer or the manual method, I recommend using a Looting 3 Sword to get the most XP. And guys, with just about 1.5 potions, I'm already up to level 45, only in about 5 minutes. And unlike other farms, you don't have to worry about stopping this farm before the potion runs out, as this one is truly infinite and will stay fully active until the potion runs out. And if that happens, all you have to do is just press the button again and start the farm again to get all the XP you ever need. And you guys, that's it. That's how you can build yourself the brand new, truly infinite XP farm for the brand new 1.20, 1.20 edition of Minecraft Bedrock.